Hi, my name is George Barajas with Salesper and in this video we're going to discuss the installation of the data collection application to the handheld device. Uh, we usually provide a uh, one of these four CAP files um, depending on the brand and model that you that you have for your handheld device and uh, once you've clicked on the link that we provide and download the software uh, just place it in a in a folder you can easily identify and or find later. Um, uh, in this case, I've just placed the CAP file directly on my desktop, and uh, um, the next step at that point is to connect to the uh, handheld device. And uh, if you if you um, connect the cradle um, of the handheld device to the computer. Um, you should be able to navigate to my computer and find under portable devices uh, this icon here and uh, if I double click on that it will show me the the root drive of the handheld device and at that point you can copy your cap file to the root of that full, uh, of that device or you could just put it somewhere you can easily find it um, the next step is um, to run the cap file from the handheld device itself and uh, uh, we usually we usually use a program called MyMobler uh, and this is a free utility you can use to uh, to remote desktop so to speak to the device and uh, you can also push files through um, Microsoft's utility um, ActiveSync and that's available through Microsoft for free too. Um, in this case I'm just going to uh, fire up my mobiler okay so this is my handheld device and uh, if I click start and uh, I'm going to use the file explorer so if I navigate to the root of the device which is represented by the my device folder I can see the cat file right there before I proceed to install the application I'm actually going to un uninstall um, the current version of the data collection software that's uh, installed in the device right now and you do so by clicking start and going into settings system and remove programs I'm going to select cellspad data collection and hit remove and confirm and at this point it's removed and I can go to the file explorer and install the new version if you're installing from scratch you wouldn't need to uh, do the uninstallation part you just uh, copy the cap file and run it as I've done here and uh, you should be able to navigate to programs data collection and launch the software from that point Okay, um, I can see my version number is uh, here in the lower right hand side. If I click on the settings button, I can then go on to configure a connection uh, profile uh, to connect against. And in this case, I've set up uh, a local connection. You just click on the plus sign here and give it a name, enter your web server, uh, IP address, or computer name and enter the, vir the virtual folder in which you've installed your instance of the uh, uh, data collection web service application and save and hit OK and then uh, you can select from a list of connections you've created from that screen uh, from the sign on screen at this point you can uh, provide your credentials and hit login and you would be uh, uh, authenticated to the software. Um, well, this concludes this tutorial and uh, I invite you to check out our other videos.